Treating depression takes too long. Let's talk about Sally. Sally has been feeling really down and sad for several weeks for no clear reason. Not just a little bit sad, but sad to the point where she can't function in the way she normally does. She's been lying in bed a lot, she struggles to find the motivation to do her work, and she swims through a sea of pessimism and even thoughts of death. Now Sally's story may sound strangely familiar. She might sound like someone you know well. She might even sound like yourself at times, or perhaps a close friend or family member. This is because Sally, just like a staggering one in 10 people, is suffering from clinical depression. But what does one in 10 really mean? Well, in Canada, that means over 2 million people. In the USA, over 25 million people. In Europe, 60 million people. So yes, this is a big problem, and it is literally close to home. As if this wasn't enough, Sally can also expect to wait a really long time to get the right treatment to help her get better. Even when, and if, she decides to start treatment, it can take many months to find what works. During that time, the cost to her life, her friends and family are simply enormous. Not just misery, but lost friendships, neglected family, trouble performing at work, and even more physical health problems. So, what can we do about all this? Well, what we're doing is called the CANBIND study. We want to shorten the path from diagnosis to the right treatment. How will we do it? By using a combination of brain scans, blood tests, and questionnaires, we will identify unique biological markers called biomarkers in patients with clinical depression. Once these biomarkers are identified, it will help us to quickly know which patient responds to which treatment. We have just started the study and the findings could revolutionize how depression is treated. Find out more and stay in the loop by following us at canbine.ca. Just click on the link.